Camping food can be so awesome. It doesn't have to be boring. I'm talking about steaks and egg scramble and beef tortillas. There's so many possibilities. Hey everyone, I'm Flo. Dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. We're camping this week and we thought you would like some of our favorite camping recipes. Our love for camping has grown over the years, mainly because there are so many beautiful places to see that we wouldn't otherwise be able to visit if it weren't for camping. And Dude makes it super convenient for me to actually enjoy camping with a kitchen that is efficient and effective. Check out our camping setup videos to see what I mean. But let's get back to the food. We eat well when we're on the road. Sure, camping is a lot of work, which is why we prefer to stay three to four days. But once you're set up, there are so many possibilities. We really hope that you will enjoy these recipes as they are some of our favorites that we make over and over again. Hi, trying to keep it simple tonight for dinner. So we're making steak and potatoes. All right, we're gonna make this steak on the scottle. Whoa! Uh, so in the meantime, while that's heating, does it take long? No. Okay, well I'm gonna slice up my potatoes. Okay. I'm gonna thinly slice them, and then we're gonna put them on to the scottle after the steak is done. And then um, we have a lid so we can steam them. And the flavor from the beef will go into the potatoes. Should be good. Yeah, I just added a little bit of oil and Flo is uh, just moving it around a little bit. Okay. But we got the uh, fat from the steak to keep it going. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to dry up the steak. Okay, this is a top sirloin steak. They were only $4.99 a pound. It was an amazing deal. going to salt it really well. And pepper. Whoa! Oh, this is not a really smart pepper mill. I know. It, it's the it one just, that's... It looks fancy, but it looks, <laughs> looks cute. Getting it onto the grill. Let's not lose it. Try the other side yet. Season the other side. And you only want to cook it for about two to three minutes aside for medium rare. Okay, flipping it over. All right, I think that's it. This is the biggest plate I have. And, well, fit. dude, it looks like <laughs> something out of Flintstones. All right, I'm gonna cover it. Let it rest, and I'll do the potatoes. I'm going to season with salt and pepper. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Okay, and we're going to let that cook for about five minutes. Right, because I have all this cheese left over. I'm going to add some cheese now. So that's five minutes. They're almost done. All right. Ta-da! All right. So I'm going to try to put this onto a plate. And stainless steel pot or plates are probably not the best because it's really hot. We're going to make a, um, like a scramble. I guess an egg scramble with sausage, potatoes, and onion and garlic. That's all I'm doing today. This trip has been a lot about just using up what I have. And I should probably cook like this at home instead of needing to buy every single ingredient for certain things. Well, I guess there's some things that can't be helped. But to be able to use up the remaining ingredients for something. Anyways, there's two cloves of garlic here. I'm just going to mince up. And if you don't like it finely minced, you can always 
to keep it chunky it's up to you and if you don't have garlic and you don't like garlic just leave it out I'm also using one onion and you can cut them however you want I think I'm gonna chop them or maybe I'll just leave them sliced like this so potatoes I want them to cook quickly so I'm gonna slice them in like half moon shakes and I have two um, large white potatoes here. I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to the scottle and then a pat of butter. Because everything is better with butter. What's a pat? I don't know. A tablespoon or so. Okay, two tablespoons. Alright. What? Add my onions. The onion is all softened now. I'm going to add the garlic. I'm going to stir that around for about 30 seconds to a minute until you start to smell it. All right, and I'm going to add the potato. We're going to season with a bit of salt, parsley, and thyme, pepper, It is probably, I don't know, like half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of parsley, or a quarter teaspoon of thyme, and then some black pepper. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to this to steam it a little bit so that the potatoes cook through before I add my sausage and eggs. much water. That's okay. I'm gonna give it about five minutes. So I'm totally cheating here. I'm using pre-cooked sausage. They're breakfast sausage. I'm just gonna chop them up into coins. In the meantime I'm also going to scramble my eggs. All right let's check on the potatoes. I've already checked on them once. Ooh. I think by the time I add everything else to it and let it warm through, it should be fine. Okay, I'm going to add the sausage now. All right, everything is heated through. Just me pushing the food to the side and I'm going to add my eggs to scramble in the middle. So I have six eggs. It's lightly beating. That cook surface is at 68 inches wide. I'll just keep the food on the outside of that warm. So in this case, the eggs are cooking in the middle. Just season it now. Some salt and pepper. Okay, so when the egg is almost done, around this stage, I'm going to start feeding everything back in. And there's your scramble. That's it. And everything else will cook right through. Looks delish. I'm just going to chop up all of my ingredients first before um, cooking. So I am using half an onion, but only a quarter of the onion is going into the beef. The other half of the half. Uh -huh. The other quarter of the onion is going into the beans. I don't know about sitting and cutting. Look, you can't see what I'm doing. I should probably stand up. I'm only going to use half the pepper, I think, because the kids don't really like pepper. I'm just going to cut these into... Uh, I'm just going to dice them. I guess that's a word. Dice? Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to chop up a handful of cilantro. Some of it's going to be used as additional cilantro that you want to add and then some of it, about a tablespoon actually, is going to go into the beans. And for those of you who would like to see a written recipe, I do offer written recipes to my patrons on Patreon and you can find 
the information in the description below. Okay, because I only have butter. I'm using butter. Uh, for the folks that don't know what it is, what this is, it's called a scottle. So it's at home, you can just use a frying pan and use vegetable oil or whatever oil you're using. You don't have to use butter, but that's what I am using here. And the scottle is just a carbon steel disc that runs off a single propane burner. So I'm using, so that was a tablespoon of butter and a quarter onion chopped. And at home, you can just use vegetable oil or whatever oil you're using in a frying pan. And we're just going to cook this until the onions are translucent. I'm just using about three quarter pound of ground beef. until it's no longer pink and cook through. And this is lean ground beef. Okay, and I'm adding about a tablespoon of the taco seasoning while it's cooking. It's almost cooked through. Oh, it smells so yummy. It does. And I'm starving again because, you know, our bacon and pancake breakfast didn't time you over. <laughs> I'm adding the peppers. I'm just going to cook for another minute or two. All right, I'm just going to turn this off. I'm going to cover it so that I can get the rest of the meal done. We're moving on to the beans. Great. This is just a wok cover that I had at home. Yeah, the the company that makes the scottle sells a scottle lid, but you know what? It's just a wok lid. It's the I think the exact same lid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm heating up a tablespoon of butter and again at home I would just use vegetable oil and I'm going to add the other quarter onion. We cook this for a couple minutes until it's translucent. Okay, just bought this because I forgot to bring a can opener. Oh, yay! Success. <laughs> That's a lot of liquid. Because there's so much liquid in this can of beans, I am going to let it boil. And try to see if I can boil down some of the liquid. Otherwise, I will just, we'll just serve it and try to drain off some of the liquid. But at home, what I normally do is I rinse out the black beans and drain it add it to my pot and then I add about two tablespoons of chicken broth and then just let it simmer for about five minutes with the lid on at a low temperature and that's it but here there's so much liquid I'm gonna try to cook it down in the meantime I'm going to make the tortillas you can get just flour tortillas but I have these awesome flour tortillas that you have to cook They only take about a minute per side, so it won't take long. It's gonna explode. <laughs> okay, this is probably my most perfect one. All right, that's it. Oh, to finish off the beans, turning off the heat. And we're gonna stir in, first of all, I should probably salt it. Oh look, a lot of the liquid burned down. Burned down. Burned off. <laughs> Burned off. Salt. And about a tablespoon of cilantro. And that's it. I love these beans. Oh, me too. 
I wonder how I'll be without the chicken stock. The chicken stock adds a little more flavor, and then I would don't normally add salt. But this should be fine. All right, it's time to assemble and eat. I gotta survey the, the goods first. Wow, that's a lot of stuff going on here. What on earth? I know, I'm just using the lettuce from the Caesar salad. So there are certain things that are worth doing camping and some things are not. So I learned quickly that making your own Caesar salad on site was not such a great idea. But buying a big one from Costco is a pretty good deal. And I can use the lettuce for this and not have to worry. Way to <laughs> MacGyver? Well, yeah. And having Caesar salad and getting our greens in as well. It's a healthy choice. No? One tortilla. And I even got like this lactose free cheese for dude. Monterey Jack lactose free. See? So you get cheese today. Thanks. <laughs> what else do you want? Meat? Mm hmm. So you could, on your pan, melt the cheese on your tortilla. And some beans. Extra cilantro. Yes, please. A little bit of lettuce. Mm hmm. I'm trying to get some lettuce without the Parmesan on there. Parmesan. Oh, it's okay. You sure? Yeah, whatever. Some extra cheese? Yeah. <laughs> some guacamole. I actually had to buy this guacamole because avocados were not ripe. It doesn't come with the lid, so we're going to have to eat all this. Yeah, no problem. What else do you want? Salsa? Uh, a little bit of salsa. No, no sour, sour cream. cream. All right. Like that? That'll do it. All right. I'm going to let you wrap your own. Oh my goodness. I don't know what end to go at. Okay. Mm, lettuce, Ooh, yeah. lettuce. Oh well, mm. <laughs> with a hint of uh, Parmesan cheese, it's almost Caesar-like. 